Hey guys, Umongus here. I'll be showing you how to simulate assembly code execution in C. Now if you're wondering what assembly code is, here is an example of some assembly code. This code is in the assembly language ARM, which is used in devices such as a microprocessor from Texas Instruments. The program that I'll be writing will not be using ARM though. It will instead be our original assembly code that we write. Now here's an example of some code as it occurs in different levels and languages. So at the top segment you'll see some code written in C, which is on one of the higher levels of code where it would have to be converted down into assembly code and then into binary. So yeah, the first one you see is C. And as you can see the instructions, int a equals 3, that means we create an integer variable called a, and we assign it 3. And then int b equals 5, you create b and assign it 5. And then we initialize C, but we don't assign it a number yet. Instead, we do a mathematical operation, c equals a plus b, and by then, c should equal 8. Then, here's the same code written in assembly language, in ARM. So, first you see mov r1, 3. r1 means register 1, and register 1 represents variable a. Next we see mov r2 5, r2 representing b, and then add r3, r1, r2. Now this takes the values from registers 1 and 2, adds them together and assigns them to register 3. Next you see this written in a hypothetical binary system that I've made where mov has an opcode of 1, and then add has an opcode of 2. We should actually ignore the spaces here, because those won't be counted. They're just there, so you can see the separation. Anyways, in each line, the first four bits are the opcode, and it's separated into four bits each time. Although in our program, we're actually going to be using 32 bits instead, because to do mathematical operations with only 16 bits, we're not going to be able to work with large numbers. Next, you'll see the binary code converted into hexadecimal. Now, 1 0 in hexadecimal is equal to 16, because each digit in hexadecimal is equal to 4 bits. So, we start by writing a blank C program that includes stdio and stdlib. Next, we define two variables, file name length and length. Then, we declare an integer array that consists of 16 elements, and this array is called registers. And this is going to represent the 16 registers in a processor. I've declared all of the registers to be set to zero. I then create what's essentially an object, and it's in the form of a struct that I've named instruction. And this struct contains two arrays. One is a character array that contains three elements. The other is a numbers array that contains three elements. So the character array is to represent the operator of the instruction and the integer array is to represent the three numbers being passed. So next, I create an array of the type def struct instruction, and it has 5,000 elements, meaning that this program will be able to memorize up to 5,000 instructions. And then, in the main function, I then declare three variables. One is a file pointer, one is a character array representing the file name, and another is the character array representing the line being read. Alright, 
Next, you'll write printf, enter the name of the file to read from, and this will simply print this exact phrase onto the console. So then, you'll type scanf %s file name. Now the %s is to represent a string, and then the file name is the string variable that will be printed, file name being the char array. And then f equals f open file name r, in which the r here stands for read, since we'll be reading a file. And then print f the file name is percent s slash n file name. So this program pretty much prompts you to enter a file name and then once you enter it, it recites it to you. Alright, next we get to the part where we write these three sections, an if statement, a while loop, and f close f. f close f is just to close the file. Anyways, the if statement checks to see whether the file's null or not, and if it is null, then it will return you an error saying unable to open the file. Otherwise, it will go into the while loop. And then f gets scans the line, and then the printf function just reprints the line. So now what this program does, after you give it a text file, it reads all the lines and then prints them back in the console. So now, what we're going to do is add an if statement, and it's going to enclose the print line. So, if line 0 is not equal to hashtag, then it prints out the line. So now you save it, and then we run the program, and boom, now it's not including the hashtag line anymore, but it does still include the empty line. So here's the fix for that. You go back to the if statement, we're going to add a few more. going to add and line 0 is not equal to space so now any line that starts with a space is not going to be included also and str len which in C it means the length of the string and then when I've calculated all the string lengths the empty line had a length of 1 so if it has a length, actually I'm going to have to make it 3, that way there will be enough letters for you to collect all three characters for the operation. So, save, and then you go back to the program and rerun it. And now it doesn't include the empty line anymore.